When I was a kid, we had some whopper movies like Shrek, Road to El Dorado, Chicken Run, and we even had some good sequels come out of that. Hell, even entire franchises came out of the 2000s. It was awesome, but one film series that always connected with my childhood was this one. Love Ice Age, the animation, the characters, the story, the emotion, and comedy all make this a solid film. It's a simple story about a sloth, a mammoth, and a saber-toothed tiger returning a human baby back to its family. Seems cliche, oh, all adventurous, but the bond the characters form is the biggest highlight of the film. Ice Age had a total of five movies, ending with Collision Course in 2016. I have the four DVD collection, containing all films leading up to Continental Drift. If you're looking for a great cinematic adventure for family movie night, or a film to show your kids, I'd highly recommend picking this film up. Specifically the first one. But you know how this goes down. A good movie comes out, and video game companies get their slimy little meats on it. The first Ice Age game we're going to look at is, well, Ice Age the video game. It was released on the Game Boy Advance. And that's it. That was the only console this game was released on. It, was, it wasn't released anywhere else. On any other console. I wonder why. Hmm. Well, let's find out. Well, straight into the game and into a photo gallery of exposition. The game takes place after Manny and Sid meet the baby and Diego. I do like the fact that the photos are from the film. It's a great artistic inclusion. The game itself is a basic side-scroller where Manny and the baby are walking through the land, jumping over obstacles and enemies, while also collecting acorns. This level takes place in the Rocky Plains, and the enemies you come across are birds, saber-toothed tigers, and... Scrap things. Enemies can either be defeated by being jumped on or attacked by Manny's tusks. Although, you will have to fire nuts out of your trunk to clear roadblocks such as sleepy rhinos. The graphics for a portable system are bright and colourful and they are also very well detailed. But the characters look a bit crap. The Game Boy Advance is capable of somewhat 3D graphics. So I wish they could use the technical possibilities of the system more. This is comparable to the Game Boy Color. Each level is split up into sections, with each one increasing the challenge, similar to Wayne's World on SNES. Oh god, I can't believe I'm referencing that. At the end of the level, there is a boss. The first boss is a giant turtle. You bounce on his shell and do it five times, and then, well, that's it. Every time I review a movie license game, the one thing I expect for the game is to stay faithful to the source material or add it into the story. That includes the well-known locations like New Hive City and B-Movie Game or Far Far Away and Shrek Games. Ice Age? Eh, not so much. Well, Ice Age doesn't really have that many well-known locations because the characters don't really give them a title. They also look the same, they, the, so the locations don't really make an impact. The only place that we know from the movie is Glacier's Pass and the Hunter's Camp. Apart from that, nothing is special. The result of this is the levels all feeling blended together and feeling generic, often with repeated themes. The themes of the levels are the Rocky Plains, 
snowy mountains with ice physics, caves, both of the regular and ice variety, and volcanoes. Each level theme is well constructed and plays well, except for the lava levels. Good lord do I hate these levels. Fireballs that pop out of the ground, beginner's death traps, and fires you need to jump over. I always despise them because I keep on dying. The problem is Manny's hitbox can't match the structure of the levels. You need to be in the center of a small platform so you don't get hurt by a fireball and die. While the other themes were challenging but manageable, the lava level is like, I'll show you impossible. I hate these levels. Now, one of my biggest gaming pet peeves is unfair difficulty, especially when you're dying constantly. It makes me so angry because I feel like an idiot and the game is laughing at me. Difficulty should be challenging without going overboard, which is what this game doesn't get right towards the end. Apart from Manny, we also get to play as Sid. This level is an auto-scrolling level. Sid's gameplay obviously reminds me of Crash Bandicoot. The spin attack and the auto-scrolling reminds me of the boulder chase. All of Sid's levels are just one section, and then that's it. I honestly wish Sid's levels had more sections, like Manny, but the screen chases you. That style wouldn't work. It's a lack of consistency, yes, but I can see why that decision was made. But what I can't forgive is this tease! So here is the final level of the game, and I reach a boss. Instinctively, I think, sweet, this is the final boss. I fire nuts at him and defeat him. So imagine the look on my face when I found out that wasn't the final boss and the level still continued. It turns out it's a saber tooth tiger that's the final boss. Why tease us with a boss in the middle of the level only to be given this? What the hell Ubisoft? Why are you gonna do that? So we fight the Saber 2 Tiger by jumping on geysers to collect the nuts to fire at him, and we win. After that, we get another story slideshow that shows the end of the film. Manny and Sid return the baby back to his family, Diego isn't dead, and they walk out into the distance ready for the sequel. And with that, Ice Age the only game is finished. Ten levels over all. That's too short if you ask me. Diego doesn't get any gameplay. That really bummed me out, because as much as Sid's my favourite character, Diego should have some gameplay as well. We could have had him running around slashing enemies with his claws or battling bosses like a fighting game. Instead, no. We get an experience that honestly is enjoyable and solid, but the issues really hurt it in the long run. So on that note, I Age the Video Game gets 7 out of 10. Despite the lava levels being unfair in difficulty and the tease of a boss in the final level, I do think this is a game worth checking out, especially if you're trying to escape travel boredom. Ice Age would then see more video games that have console releases with the movie sequels. I'll take a look at those in the future, but until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed this, give this video a like and subscribe and turn on channel notifications so you never miss an upload. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.